Hey everyone, I'm Scott Herman from scotthermanfitness.com and Sears Fit Studio, and welcome to My Big Fit Wedding. Now this is going to be an amazing workout that's gonna help you get ready for that special day and look the absolute best you can in that white dress. Now before we get started with the routine, there's a couple warm-up exercises I want you guys to do. But first of all, if you have a foam roller at home, or you can go pick one up at Fit Studio, you can check out this routine right here if you're super tight to help you with some mild fascial release. Now the four warm-ups I want you guys to do are very, very simple. The first thing you're gonna do is a toe touch. Now these warm-ups are gonna be active stretches, so you're not gonna go down and hold the position for a long period of time. You're just gonna go down and up 10 times. But when you do the toe touch, I want you guys to put your feet a little bit apart, so about shoulder width, keep your spine straight, keep your legs straight, and I want you to push back with your butt, and you're gonna feel the force going through your heels as you go down and up. So just like this, I'm pushing through my heels to kind of get my body back up. Just like that. And you see, I'm not pausing for a long period of time, and what this is gonna do, you're gonna really hammer those hamstrings and get them stretched out. The next thing you're gonna do, very simple, 25 jumping jacks. Make sure your arms and legs are straight. You can go all the way up with your arms, and when your legs go to the side, make sure your knees don't buckle in, okay? So from here, 25 reps. It's gonna get the muscles warmed up, get your joints warmed up, and it's gonna feel good. The next thing you're gonna do is going to be a walking, stretching lunge, okay? And the way you're gonna do this is very simple. Find an area where you can take about 10 steps, okay? You're gonna step forward and come down. Try and keep that back leg straight. Make sure your front knee's over your ankle and go down for a couple seconds and then come back up and step through. It's like this. And you notice I'm keeping my body nice and straight. I'm not leaning over like that, okay? Body's tall, come down, back leg straight. This is gonna help you get it through your calf and your quad as well. Just go, once you reach the limit of where you have space, turn around, go the other way, and do it 10 times. The last thing you're gonna do is arm circles. Arm circles are very simple. You're gonna do 10 rotations forward, and then 10 rotations backwards. Now, you can choose to start off small, and then get bigger, and bigger, and bigger. You can also choose to do one arm at a time. Again, start off small, and then get bigger, and bigger, and bigger. Now that the warm-up's done, we're gonna go right into the routine. The way this routine's gonna work is there's three exercises. You guys are gonna complete five rounds, and you're gonna do each exercise 12 to 15 times with about 60 seconds rest in between each exercise. If you wanna make this routine more intense, take less resting time. If you need a little more resting time in between each exercise, that's totally okay. So the first exercise you're gonna do is a dumbbell reverse lunge. Okay, so the way this is gonna look without the dumbbells first is you're gonna stand straight up just like this. Okay, your feet a little bit wider apart, arm on shoulder width apart. You're gonna stand up straight, your dumbbells by your side, and you're gonna take a step back. And as you step back, your knee stays over your ankle, and you come straight down and you form 90 degree angles with your knees. Push right up and come forward, and then step back with the other leg. So you're gonna do a one-one count. For this exercise, so 10 reps per side. Uh, the dumbbells I recommend using probably five to 15 pounds, maybe 20 if you're feeling good. So let's go over real quick, couple reps. Step back, come down, just like this. Step back, come back to the front. Okay, so now do 12 to 15 reps, and let's move on to the next exercise, which is going to be a dumbbell burpee. Now, for this exercise, it gets pretty intense. So start off with some lighter weight. All you're gonna do, I'm gonna show you without the dumbbells first, is you're gonna stand up straight. You're gonna come down. As you come down, you're gonna place the dumbbells off by the side. Still hold on to the handles. You're gonna jump your feet back. See how wide my feet are when I come back? Just like this. Then as you come up, it's gonna be one motion. You're gonna come up and land just like this. And then from this position, you're gonna explode up and press the dumbbells at the top. So, show you a couple reps real quick. So once you're here, come back up, and as you come up, explode. If you've never done these before, 
I suggest going pretty slow the first couple reps because you don't want to get hurt. But even after doing two at that speed, you're going to feel a little winded. Last exercise you're going to do is going to be a dumbbell push up into a row. Now, with this exercise, you're going to go into a plank position to start off for your push up, but you're going to have your feet wide, okay? And when you do your row, I don't want you just pulling with your hands. I want you to visualize bringing your shoulder back and then pulling by retracting and um, squeezing your shoulder blades, okay? So don't pull with your hand, pull with your back because we're doing a row. Grab your dumbbells, again, probably anywhere between 5 and 15 pounds. Hold them out to the side like this. Get a nice wide stance. You're going to come down, push straight up. Once you get to the top, pull the dumbbell in. Then go to the other side. That's how you do a dumbbell push up into a row. So, once again, you're going to do all three exercises 12 to 15 reps per exercise for the dumbbell push up into a row. Again, it's going to be a 1 1 count. So, one rep is after you pull the dumbbell with each arm. Okay? Go through that, hammer it as hard as you can, and as soon as you're done, we're going to do a nice, light cool down to get you guys ready to go eat some food and possibly take a nap because you have lots of other stuff to do planning for that wedding. Cool down can be very simple. Once again, you're going to do 25 jumping jacks. Same form, all the way up, legs and arms straight. As soon as you finish those, we're going to do two simple yoga exercises. You're going to do a downward dog for a minute, and then a cobra for a minute. And the way the downward dog is going to work is you're going to start off with your feet a little bit wider than the shoulder width apart, and you're going to go down with your hands like this, and you're going to try and push back onto your heels while also pushing your butt back. You're going to arch your back a little bit, maintain a neutral spine with your head and your neck, and then you get to this position like this. And the more you push back, the more you're going to feel a stretch. As soon as you hold this position for about a minute, and go into a cobra, bring your hands forward a little bit, and then you're going to sit with your hips down, stay on your toes, and pull your chest up just like that. And really stretch that lower back. If you get on your toes, you're going to feel it pretty much everywhere. So once you're done holding those, if you choose to want to do some more stretching, once again, you can check out some mild fascial release right here and get all those kinks out of your muscles. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm looking forward, if you are getting married soon, as it is wedding season, to seeing your beautiful photos on the Scott Herman and Fit Studio pages. For more great information, join us on Fit Studio, and I'll see you guys later.